Hey, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I got a 350Z right behind me. We're about to install some Infinity Auto. I'm pretty stoked about this. I got my buddy, Matt Large here, and uh, he and I are gonna get this thing prepped and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and wash with the prep solution, which uh, is this, uh, this blue soap right here. Uh, that's what you need to wash with to prep for Infinity Auto. So if you're doing any polishing at all, or I should say correction, which we are not going to be doing today, we're just gonna wash this with the prep soap, then we're gonna pull it in, get it dry, tape it up, and we're spraying some in Infinity Auto today. So that's the plan. Um, but the prep shampoo is incredibly important. So if you're doing any polishing prior to applying Infinity Auto, or even Infinity Marine, uh, or Infinity Porous Surface, that's the only three that there are. Um, if you're going to polish, make sure after you polish, you wash again with the prep shampoo. You, this stuff will remove anything and everything that's on the surface and get it ready for the application. If you don't do it that way, the product will not bond properly and you will not get any permanent results from it. That's for sure. Prep shampoo is a must. And as far as maintenance goes after the fact, there's really, it's permanent. It doesn't go anywhere. It's incredibly hydrophobic. It really doesn't need any topper or maintenance. However, I do have a gloss, gloss enhancing uh, shampoo that will be the maintenance shampoo just so that, because I get a lot of people saying, hey, what do I use on this? That's the answer. So uh, we'll get that rocking and rolling after this. I'll talk, talk to you a little bit about that, but right now, I've got my deionized water situation. I'm about to put some of the soap in the bucket and I'm gonna go ahead and foam it on. So uh, we'll bring you back whenever I get that rolling. Putting my boy Matt to work. Uh, so we just clay barred the vehicle and now he's just spraying off any uh, residual from the clay and you know, the, any, any contamination that the clay broke up and has still laying on the car, he's just rinsing it off now. Uh, this is deionized water. And then uh, after he gets done spraying it off, uh, he's gonna go ahead and dry it and then we're gonna pull it in the garage and start, well, finish drying it and then get it all taped up. So we'll be back when we get to that. All right, so we pulled the car inside the garage. We got everything, uh, all the residual water blown out of the cracks and crevices. Uh, we taped up the, the glass and the softer plastic trim. Uh, this car has paint protective film right down there, as you can see on the mirror backs, which looks like garbage. And then it has it all over the front clip. Oh, well, actually, you see the line. And then it's on the headlights. I don't know that it's on all the plastic pieces down there, but anyway, so this is what the car looks like with no polishing done. I'm not going to polish it. We're just going to coat it, which is the biggest benefit to using Infinity Auto is it will fill a lot of the scratches and that kind of thing. Now, if you've got, if you've got, oh shit, if you've got super deep scratches and that kind of thing, obviously uh, it's going to show through the coating, but if you'll notice We've got what I would consider a semi-controlled environment It is definitely not a hundred percent controlled because I got a big gaping hole back there. What I want to do is um, I'm probably gonna have to turn the fans off You're probably gonna be a little bit hot if you're doing this in the heat, but here's our little situation today uh, it is 77.2 degrees and it is 70% humidity in my garage. I think it's going to work out fine, but with those parameters, I, I mean, this is important stuff. This uh, Thermo Pro deal is very important. It's like 11 bucks on Amazon. I highly recommend that if you're going to do uh, this Infinity Auto coating, you uh, have one of those that shows you temperature uh, and your humidity. Usually, you don't want your humidity to be that high, but I think it's going to be fine. Uh, and usually, the temperature needs to be between 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 85 degrees Fahrenheit is how you really optimize your situation. Uh, I had our boy Matt 
wrap the tires up real good. Uh, we are gonna do some testing on the paint protection film to see, I don't know that it will bond. There is a piece of, grab a piece of tape if you don't mind, sir, and get that flap on the window. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna coat right over the emblems and uh, basically that's where we're at. I'm not worried about the transition uh, between the different panels because the coating is self annealing, which means when you apply over it, it becomes one with the bottom layer. So it should not matter. Now, I've not sprayed it on a whole car before. I've only done panels and uh, this is the first time, first time for everything. And I need to get it right before I can sell this stuff to you guys. So uh, we're on it. And I uh, just wanted to show you around the car a little bit, show you what's going on. I am going to be trying to use this compressor. It's a 20-gallon compressor from uh, Northern Tool. Um, I have 25-foot line there. I do have a, a gun right here that a buddy of mine who paints cars recommended. It's actually on Amazon. It's the Capital Pneumatics. HPLV professional spray gun. So anyway, I'm gonna get that out and put that to work. Uh, and we're also going to try the aerosols that I had put together. So I've got a couple of aerosol cans and then I've got the uh, three car kit right here. So we're gonna be able to tell you a lot of information on this situation, but we're gonna get rolling now. Uh, I am gonna try to spray it. Uh, I'm going to try to wipe it. We're going to spray it with the other HPLV gun, but let me do a little bit of testing. But as you saw so far, the process was wash with the prep soap. I foamed the car and then I put some in the bucket, cleaned it really, really well. I had Matt do the wheels. So the whole car is nice and clean. Then we clay barred the car outside and then pulled it inside, got everything dry, got the residual water out of the cracks and crevices uh, with the DeWalt blower. And then we taped everything up. And so now it's ready to go. No prep wipe, do not wipe it with anything, dry the vehicle and leave it alone. The prep shampoo is all you need to take care of this thing. So you can see, there's some lighter scratches and that kind of thing, and we're gonna leave that. We're not gonna polish anything. We're just gonna apply some coating. So all right, let me uh, continue to get set up, and then I'll bring you back whenever we're actually uh, producing some results. All right, let's let that dry. Let's let that dry and then we'll come back and uh, check it out in just a little bit. I want it to lay down a little bit flatter and then we'll inspect it after that. So, All right, so we tested with the aerosol cans as you saw in the last clip. Then we left it and went to lunch and we came back and now I got Matt removing the coating that we sprayed because the aerosol can just didn't, <clears throat> it was a lot more air than spray and this stuff needs to be wet when you lay it down. Um, that's how it self, self levels is being wet. And so what we're doing now is we're just removing all of it from the surface with xylene. This will remove the uncured product so uh, within two days, you can use xylene to just completely remove it. So while you're installing it, if you have any problems, all you've got to do is literally remove it with the xylene. Um, you wipe with a towel that has, yeah, so that towel that fell on the ground should not be back on the car. Um, so anyway, he's removing that. I'm actually setting up um, to spray. Um, I put this piece of paper up because I'm working with uh, that spray gun that I showed you in the other clip. Uh, I'm about to adjust the fan and spray pattern and then I'm gonna try to spray it with this. And uh, I'm also gonna try to spray it with uh, a smaller sprayer, this guy right here. So we're gonna, 
we're going to try a couple of different options for spraying the actual liquid which would be what you would get in a container like this which will have uh, an appropriate label on it once it's ready march 1st so anyway we are just so it lays down and it looks great but out of the aerosol it was a little inconsistent when you wipe it on uh, it definitely works but in my opinion spraying it on leaves a more even level more automotive finish like finish so <clears throat> that's what we're trying to do so uh i'm gonna go ahead and get that straight i just wanted to show you this this step because if you're worried about it don't you can get it off it's not a huge deal i would use more more xylene than that that's why you're getting patchy removal but the xylene is going to tear up your gloves yes. makes them stupid sticky um, <clears throat> I have noticed that when I tried to remove it from the paint protective film, first of all, it did bond and it did look good. Would you say it looked good on the paint protective film? I mean, the areas that laid flat. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm pretty confident that paint protective film is going to be fine. Yeah, I think you could coat right over that. Um, in fact, if you look at just the edge, this is actually the coating. I didn't tape anything. This is overspray. But I didn't, I didn't tape the edge or anything, and you can see it bonded well, and it, it, there was not enough to level out, obviously, but it bonded well and all of that. So I don't see why you couldn't use it on paint protecting film. I, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, you can. Um, so that's one thing we figured out is paint protective film. It will lay down on it. Uh, and then I wanted to show you this particular part of the deal because we're removing it all to respray it. We're trying different ways of application to find you the best way to do this because i know you all want this product all right so uh i'm gonna get to work on testing and we'll be back when we get more results all right so we left the car and went to lunch we came back it, i found that the fender looked pretty awesome we've already removed it all we we use xylene to remove all of the coating this is just the residual that's left but uh, my plan is to coat back over that. So what we've done now is we've removed all the coating we laid down with the aerosol can. And now I'm going to spray it with an HPLV gun. This is the gun. Um, I am using a regulator here. This is a real regulator that actually uh, limits the amount of flow. Uh, and then that's a inline air filter, air water filter. And then this is the Capital Pneumatics uh, gun. I also have the Harbor Freight small gun and I have an Astro, I think that's an Astro smaller gun as well. So I'm going to try them all, but I'm going to try first with the big automotive spray gun. Um, you can't see it, but I used this uh, basically craft paper taped to this foam board uh, to check my pattern and the flow. I actually put acetone in it and played around with it so I didn't waste any product. But anyway... I had I basically we wiped everything down with xylene and then I used a little bit of acetone here and there which is a little bit weaker than the xylene but what I'm going to do is this fender is all prepped believe it or not we actually washed everything again with the prep soap that we used the xylene on um, we absolutely can uh, put the infinity auto on the paint protective film so I did not excuse me uh, we just had lunch I'm burping a little bit um, a little baby got a little gas <laughs> um so you can see the paint protective film right there there's the line um i'm not going to cover it up i'm literally going to shoot that whole panel and see how it goes so um i don't know here let's just not break the break the situation we'll just get right into it all right i'm gonna load up the gun infinity auto Damn, I just noticed I don't have any shortage of DeWalt drills over there, do I? Good God. I got all of them. I had them in different locations, and then I just cleaned out my truck and pulled two of them out. All right, so this gun, before I used it, I ran a bunch of acetone through it, like I told you over there. And I'm just going to put enough for the panel. That's not going to work. Um, so... If you want to just look in there with that, it's just got a little bit of uh, Infinity Auto in there. All right, I'm going to grab my respirator. 
Um, we are in a semi-controlled environment. What I mean by that is um, we have the garage shut. Um, there's not a lot of air moving in here. I think that the flow was a little bit much. I feel like the output of product was a little heavy, so that needs to be adjusted. But coverage is good. It went out nice. It's leveling out nice. Um, I didn't put quite enough on here. So what I want to do is, I'll do a second coat, but you want it to dry first. I'm real happy, look at, look at it's laying down. Look at this, this area right here, leveling out almost perfect. It's all about gun adjustment. All about gun adjustment. I think that to reduce orange peel, or I'm sorry, to reduce overspray, I got a couple of runs. Look at this. Look at that section where I went over it again. Perfect. So I was running that at, I want to say, 14 PSI. Yeah, it looks awesome. We got, it's a little thin right here, but you absolutely can do a second coat. What I would, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back off the air and I'm going to probably back off the air is really where I'm at. What, do you, what would you say, Matt? Like, I feel like it was a little bit heavy on the air. Only because. Look at that big sag. I it just, and it's too heavy on product. So I need to back off both air and product. So the reason we taped off everything except for that fender is to basically work on that fender. So now what I'm going to do is give that about 15 minutes to dry and then I'm going to strip it off and adjust the gun and spray it again. That's where we're at. All right. So we had a little bit of an issue with residual water and I can tell you that some of the main things you need to worry about when you're dealing with uh, Infinity Auto or Infinity Marine or Infinity uh, Porous Surface is re residual water after your prep. This emblem was giving us crazy hard time. I've had to rewrap this damn thing about what four times now we've had to rewrap it. So I sprayed this other fender with the small gun there and I'll leave, oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell something to do. I'm gonna tell you right now, do not use a regular s sprayer for this situation. You want to use this sprayer, cause that shit is awesome. Um, I am actually going to swap out this filter. I just wanted one on each side of my hose, which I have. I always run two filters. I run the one filter there on the compressor. I have the compressor set to, I wanna say 45 PSI. Um, I do have an actual regulator on this. Um, I'm running it around, what would we say, 15 PSI-ish? Um, you really have to figure out the gun uh, situation. So on this particular gun, that's the fan and that is the flow. We worked on the flow quite a bit on this little test panel I put up. 
and finally got it where it was laying down a wet layer but wasn't giving off crazy crazy overspray it's still there is definitely some overspray it's not a huge deal um if we were doing this right, I would actually have the bottom of the garage sealed and I've had a, I would have a couple 20 inch box fans exhausting out of the garage, which is definitely the plan. Um, we are gonna get this fender done and then my buddy Matt here is gonna go home, but I'm gonna finish the car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I've got it set up and then I'll finish the video after that. So Matt, if you don't mind, I'm gonna grab my Where's my respirator? On the floor, I put it next to you. Oh, see you go moving shit, I don't know where it is. <laughs> so, respirator time. Got plenty of product in there. You always want to test shoot before you go shooting. This gun is far better than the other gun that I showed you. So here we go. So it's a little bit light, but I think the best thing to do is to do two medium coats. So I'm literally going to give that about 10 minutes to dry, and then I'm going to give it, give it another light coat. What that's going to do is it's going to allow the bottom to be to lay and um, basically flatten out, and then I'll just be able to put more, more material right on top. So you can absolutely do this in one coat once you get it down. But in order to make all of your installs awesome, I would recommend doing one panel with a medium coat. Make sure it's wet so it can le level out. Um, you have to have your gun adjusted where you're not getting a ton of overspray. But I can see in this area it's a little bit light on product, but it's all laid out evenly. So what we're going to do is we're going to break for 10 minutes, then I'm going to hit it with another medium coat. If you were to do it all in one coat, you absolutely can. You can get better at it. Um, I feel like I could do it in one coat, but I feel like laying it down in two different coats about 10 to 15 minutes apart is going to not only give you a little extra build, but doing it in two coats instead of one, you're not going to have to worry about runs as much. I mean, I, I, think, I feel like that's super important. Um, we had a couple of runs on the first time we did the fender um and now we're one on three times with the fender yeah oh we did the other fender in the hood so three to two two or three times with this fender but we're learning every time i can tell you that this gun is super awesome honey i'm excited it worked great yay <laughs> um but anyway this looks to be pnt green is what is on it. I know I got it on Amazon. I think it was $30. This thing works awesome. Do you feel like it works great? Yeah. Um, so we were talking about this gun right here. And while it looks like it's going to be the better option, it definitely is not better than this. I was able to adjust this down to get less airflow and manipulate the product output where it was still laying down a wet coat but it was also not giving me too much pressure for it to splatter or go on the panel man that's laying down really nice so we've got a few minutes to wait we're going to go ahead and break the video now and then we'll be back in about five minutes and i'll put another light coat on there 
then we'll check it out. We are really on the right track, guys. Today was all about testing, and now, once Matt leaves, I'm going to be able to just go around the whole car and knock it out, because now I know exactly how to do it. Before today, I was still learning, like you guys who have the product is. Um, I was all about telling you guys, and I was perfectly honest and candid when I mentioned that, you know, the research hadn't been done on anything except for the actual formula. We know this product will do what we want it to do. I just haven't had a ton of time to test it and give you a, basically a series of events like the Gary Dean Wash Method to put it all together where you don't have any questions. And so what I wanted to, to do today, which is why I invited Matt, Matt is actually a detailer uh, a little bit north of me up by Ocala and Matt's very interested in installing this stuff so because he was local because he attended my training on the coating I invited him to come down and spend the day with me figuring out this car and we are on the right track I'm super stoked and um, I got this product is heading to Japan Germany the Netherlands uh, Canada like I've got people all over the planet asking for this stuff, and I'm going to give it to you. So give me a few minutes. We'll be back. Shoot another light coat on here, and that'll be it. We'll be done -zo. All right, guys. I got my boy Matt over here gloving up. Um, I was going to shoot the uh, second coat, but I'm going to go ahead and let Matt do it. Uh, if you'll notice, it laid down on the paper protective film really nice. Um, there are some drops. There are some dry spots. I got my respirator on, sorry. There's some dry spots, or I guess spots where uh, we don't have necessarily enough product on there. Uh, so what he's gonna do is he's gonna put just another medium layer on, and then um, that's it, should be good to go. So don't over apply, or we're gonna have runs, and I ain't got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna watch him spray. Uh, you know, let go of it when you get to the end of a panel. Right? All right, let's go. Closer. Closer, four inches. Okay, you're good. I think you're putting a lot on there. Let's give it a good one on the top. All right, let's call that one a day. All right, we'll be back shortly. Hey guys, so Matt Large came to help me basically do some testing and to confirm that the latest batch of Infinity Auto was good to go. It had just a couple small tweaks, nothing fancy, and let me tell you something, it's awesome. Of course, I guess I would say that, but it's so awesome, I'm ready to launch on March 1st already, so let me show it to you. Oh, goodness. Um, I did not apply it to the wheels, but I did clean the wheels and the barrels. Actually, I did not, Matt Large did that. So. Here we are. Crystal clear, stupid glossy. No crazy buildup. I was able to lay everything out really nice. You saw the tape and all of that. It's nice and flat, looks great. 
Um, I'm very happy with how it came out. All you've got to do is make sure that that gun is adjusted properly and your movements back and forth are the right speed. Uh, so I went ahead and applied the coating on all of the uh, PPF, the paint protective film. All the paint. Um, I did tape up all the glass. The glass isn't done. You saw that. Uh, it was all taped up already. The roof looks amazing. I put it over this nasty paint protective film. So... It really looks awesome. I'm very happy with this. Uh, that is the 2022 Universal Dressing diluted 50-50 with water. Just so you know what's on the tires. But the car is awesome. Man, I'd love to purchase this car. I would love for this car to be mine. So, looks like I'm getting a 350Z, guys. Because this thing's awesome. I've, I've wanted one for a while. So now I'm in search. So if you know anybody who has a good one... I would love to purchase this one. It only has 52,000 miles on it. It's an 07. Beautiful car. P PPF is failing for sure, which always happens. That's why I'm not a fan of it. It looks like absolute garbage after a couple years. And it's stupid expensive, which, you know, cost is what it is. But um, fortunately, this coating will allow you... To get the same benefits of PPF, but with an actual clear coat that goes on top of your paint. So this is Infinity Auto, what you're looking at, all over the paint and the paint protective film of this 07 Nissan 350Z. And this bad boy is bad. B -b 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 bad Look, the product is ready, guys. You need a controlled environment for sure, uh, for dust and that kind of thing. I should have swept the garage out. I ended up getting it to lay down pretty good. Um, it is not absolutely perfect, but perfection is not reality. I've been preaching that to you guys for a long, long time. And uh, basically, that's what's up. Not one time did I pull the polisher out to polish one panel on this car and look how good it looks with Infinity Auto. It's all about laying it down right. And the other reason why I had Mr. Matt Large here was so that he could witness what's going on. He actually has jobs lined up for this stuff. He has jobs already lined up for some Infinity Auto. I just see a couple spots. Uh couple smears on the windows. I did not apply it to the windows. Um, what I did to do to the windows is I just wiped the windows and the wheels down with uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with Triple Trifecta uh, as the, in the spray coating dilution. Uh, it works awesome on glass and on, on wheels. Uh, Infinity Auto can absolutely go on the wheels. Uh, I have not tried it on the glass. I don't think it will work well. Um, it's a little thick. I don't know. I probably will do some testing. This coating right here is a very superior coating, more like a clear coat than an actual coating. Uh, it is permanent. It never goes away. And because I've dialed in um, the spray where I'm not worried about orange peel, uh, you, you, you just got to pay a lot of attention to your adjustments on the gun and basically your hand movements when you're applying it. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're wetting out the surface. You want the, when it comes out and lays down to be wet, uh, you, but you don't want it to be overly wet where it's gonna drip and create issues for you. We don't want any of that. So um, just get your gun dialed in right. If you have any experience in auto body uh, with spraying clear coats, you'll have no issues with this. However, if you don't, 
there's a little learning curve, but I hope from yesterday yesterday's video and seeing the results that you can get with a little bit of practice, I hope that you guys are happy with this and basically you want to use it. And uh, I mean, it's awesome. If you'd like me to apply this permanent coating for you, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Give me a shout. Um, I'd be more than happy to talk to you about your options and um, see where we can go with it. Super excited about this product. I could not be happier with the end result. That's for sure. Anyway, you've seen it. You've heard me babble. I will absolutely be shooting more videos on this. Um, but when I posted on Facebook the other day, I need a small car to detail to apply this coating on. I wasn't expecting a, a black car. In fact, I didn't want one. But then I thought, okay, um, this customer, uh, you. so look back 10 years. I, I, I did this car years and years ago, many times. And um, on my YouTube channel, there are details I've done on this particular car. So just go to YouTube, my YouTube channel and put in 350Z and I'm sure you'll find uh, this car and some of the earlier details. I've polished it a few times, but look at that shine and I didn't even polish it. It has a permanent paint coating on it and on the paint protection film. Mind blown. I mean, I'm telling you, it's awesome. So, but I mean, you can absolutely see that it's awesome by just looking at it. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? All right, guys, I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me babble. I know I say that on every closing segment of my videos, but truly, without you guys watching these videos, wouldn't be any point of me doing them, right? So uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. We're going to talk a lot about this uh, Infinity Auto, Infinity Marine, and Infinity Porous Surface. I will absolutely do more videos on Infinity Auto, and I will do more videos on Infinity Marine and uh, Infinity porous surface. Um, we are working on a button on our button bar at detailjuice.com called coatings. When that's done, which should be not, not long from now, when you see this video, probably very shortly within a week after this video goes live, um, I will have that coating link up, which will outline triple trifecta top coat, super seven, uh, everlasting showstopper x everlasting marine x everlasting porous surface and the infinity auto infinity marine and infinity porous surface uh it will outline all of those and what they're for why you need them and everything but the infinity uh coatings the permanent ones uh all of my normal coatings are going to be available to the public starting uh march 1st so i'll put them all on the website um let me know if you need me, need me for anything. And uh, if you've got questions about the coatings, everything will be outlined in that uh, button on the button bar. But if you need me, just reach out and ask. 813-846-4406 is my cell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, where we're talking about all the products and what I'm doing. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.